You know, um, I was pondering some things this past week. There's a, there's a statement that goes back, I don't even know who said it originally, who was the original to quote, but the statement was that those who don't learn from history are destined to repeat it. Y'all heard that before. And uh, recently, I actually probably... Well, recently I saw a trend that started back here in the United States that hadn't happened in many, many years. About 18 months ago, I was watching the All Blacks play a rugby game, and all their people came out, and they had mullets. And I went, oh, good God. It's coming back again. You see, I'm one of the originals. I'm one of the ODMs, the original mullets. I had one back in the 80s and 90s and wore it proudly and, you know, for 25 years afterwards was made fun of brutally every time my picture came up. And so when I saw these mullets coming back with this sports team, I thought to myself, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit the States. Give it about six months, it'll be in the States because everything that goes on in Australia, don't take very long when it happens over there for it to happen here. And sure enough... About six months later, I start seeing these kids wrestling, wrestlers and different ones, wearing these long mullets and stuff, and I was thinking to myself, oh, goodness gracious, here we go. It's fashion, and fashion's a funny thing. Now, I'm going to make some parallels here. You guys just follow with me for just a second. Fashion is a funny thing. I noticed here, I don't even remember who it was, one of the young ladies that was, was singing uh, one week, probably, I don't know, maybe six months ago, but it was definitely before Christmas, but I noticed this. I'd never seen this before. Never in my life had I seen that. It's a fashion thing. And I thought to myself, oh, the poor thing, she came out of the bathroom in a hurry and didn't tuck her whole shirt in. That's what, I honest, honestly, I'm sitting right over there. That's what I thought, Danny. Sitting right there. It's like, oh, goodness, she didn't. It reminded me of my, my pastor one time. He, he went to the restroom, and when he came out, his white shirt tail was sticking out of his fly. He zipped it up in his fly. And, and I was like, oh, geez. The, and so really, I'm, the whole time people are worshiping, I'm feeling bad. Like, she, she tucked her shirt in and forgot it. And it was, to me, it felt like, kind of like, like a mullet. You know, it's like, business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> business. Par- anyway. The next week I came in and I noticed there was like five other young ladies that were wearing their shirt just like that. And I went, oh, this is a trend. Like this is fashion. People getting their, they're catching their cues from other people. And of course, I'm just late to the party. I'm the guy that always figures things out last. And so the point being is we, we frequently will take our cues from other people when it comes to things like fashion. We see somebody else that we admire, somebody that we, we hear that, you know, some celebrity wears something a certain way, and we go, oh, man, that looks good. I, I like how that looks. Oh, man, that guy's got on some cool shoes. I like those shoes. I'm going to buy those shoes. There's, there's this, this tendency that we have to take our cues from other people. And I recognize that this is just human nature. This is what we do. And I see it happen as it pertains to things of faith as well. You see, faith can also be a learned behavior. We will often take our cues on what we believe based upon what somebody that we respect has told us, based upon something that we have seen modeled, based upon something that we recognize worked or maybe didn't work for someone else. And then we replicate what we see. Paul said it this way. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. Jesus said it this way. The things that I do, you shall do. And greater things than these shall you do because I go to my Father. These are the words of God. Jesus in the flesh, God in the flesh in John 14. You're going to do even greater things than I do because I go to the Father. Follow my lead. In order to function in faith... Ultimately, the way that God intends us to do, we have to realize that what we believe matters. Say that with me, what we believe matters. What we believe matters. 